This is my wallet. It's full of no annual fee cashback cards, preferably with no foreign transaction fees and some degree of automation, which I'll discuss later. In this video, I'll show you my overall cashback strategy and how I utilize over $150,000 in available credit. But first, use my link down below to sign up for a Webull brokerage account and deposit one penny to get six free stocks valued all the way up to $12,600 from Webull. They still have that insane promotion going on for a limited time so go get that free money so let's build this credit card setup from the ground level every cashback credit card lineup must start off with a great two percent flat rate card for me that's been the sofi credit card it's been an absolute workhorse over the past two years i'm guaranteed to get at least two percent back on any purchases that fall outside of the bonus categories of my other cards there's no three percent foreign transaction fee so i never have to think twice when planning a vacation abroad. It just always automatically stays in my wallet regardless of the situation. I love that I can set up automatic redemption for any rewards that I earn so I never have to remember or lift a finger to cash out my earnings. It simply shows up in my SoFi checking account at the beginning of every month. It also has other benefits through the MasterCard World Elite program like $1,000 of cell phone protection and discounts on DoorDash orders. Fintech companies like SoFi are really competitive compared to traditional banks offering higher interest rates, better mobile apps, and automated features. So if you're ready to try something new, I definitely recommend SoFi. The next card that I use is so good that I signed up for two of them. That's the City Custom Cash card. You get 5% back on your top spending category, up to $500 of spending each month. I use one of them for groceries, which I'm easily able to earn the maximum reward of $25 per month on. I leave the second card open for use with different categories, depending on my needs that month but I typically use it for dining purchases. I was able to acquire two of the same card by taking my old city double cash card and product changing it to the new custom cash card. All you need to do is call customer service to see if you're eligible. Currently, there's no hard limit on how many you can have. City recently made their cards more competitive by removing the $25 minimum redemption threshold. So I've been enjoying being able to redeem any amount that I want, no matter how small the size is. Adding a 5% bonus category card to a 2% flat rate card is a very strong one-two punch if you want to keep things simple. But personally, I can't stop there. Next up is the Venmo credit card. Similar to the custom cash card, it adapts to your personal spending habits and earns 3% back in your top spending category, 2% in your next top spend, and 1% elsewhere. The major difference here is there's no cap on bonus category spending. I use mine for travel purchases. Since there's no limit, I can use it for expensive flights or Airbnb reservations that can easily clear $1,000 and continue earning the highest bonus rate. In addition to that, there's no foreign transaction fees. And since it works on the Visa payment network, it can be used for Costco purchases. Take a look at the terms of service. Venmo includes wholesale clubs under their grocery category. So you're good to go there. I really think this is an underrated card. Next is the US Bank Cash Plus Visa card. It allows you to choose two 5% bonus categories and one 2% bonus category. The real value of this card is the variety of categories it includes. I use mine to earn 5% back on home utility payments. So even though I may not keep it in my wallet, it is set up as my default payment method with all the utility companies. I use it for water, electricity, and heating oil bills. I also chose ground transportation as my second 5% category. Since I live in the New York City area, it could be valuable for public transit commutes or ride sharing around town during a vacation. Next is a really unique and little known card. That's the Verizon Visa card. It has a really compelling reward structure. You could earn 4% back on gas and grocery, 3% on dining, and 2% back with Verizon, and 1% elsewhere. You also get $10 off each Verizon account when you use this card as your auto payment method. So in my situation, I have Verizon Wireless Service and Verizon Fios Internet Service, and I get a $20 per month discount on my bills plus 2% back on the bill itself. I used to keep this card in my physical wallet for dining purchases, but after signing up for my second city custom cash card, the Verizon Visa has been downgraded to a backup role for that purpose. I should also mention that this is currently my only metal card, which is exceedingly rare for a no annual fee cashback card. So if you like the prestige of holding metal and you use Verizon Wireless, then check this card out. Next is the recently revived PayPal MasterCard. This used to be a standard 2% flat rate card, but PayPal 
PayPal decided to shake up the game and give us unlimited 3% back on all purchases made with PayPal. All you have to do is select PayPal during checkout and make sure PayPal MasterCard is used as the funding source. This new benefit is very generous since PayPal is offered on so many websites and apps for online checkout and even some merchants offer PayPal at checkout in store. I recently used it to purchase some photo editing software and I really think this could turn into the perfect card to use specifically for online purchases. You should know my average credit limit across my actively used cards is about $10,000 each. I have even more cards which don't get much use that I keep in this large binder hidden away. If you include those cards, that brings my total available credit limit to just over $150,000 and my average credit utilization rate is just 3%. If you're getting value from this, please hit the like button and to learn more about cashback cards and see what you qualify for, I'll have links down below. So one of the latest additions to my lineup is the Discover It card. It comes with a 5% quarterly rotating bonus system and the spending cap per quarter is $1,500. I'll be using it for PayPal purchases this quarter and wallet transactions in the fourth quarter of this year. I love that they allow you to set up automatic rewards redemption for your earnings and that there's no foreign transaction fees. Also, Discover has award-winning customer service which should come in handy if any issues arise. Next is my Capital One Quicksilver card. This card is super simple because it earns a flat 1.5% back on every purchase. But for me, it has one very particular purpose and that's to create virtual cards. A virtual card is a temporary digital card that is linked to your physical card. I use them to manage any limited time subscription trials. For example, I recently used it to sign up for YouTube TV during the NBA Finals. They were only offering a five day free free trial of this service and if I forgot to cancel, I would have been charged the whole $60 monthly fee. So instead of shouldering that risk, I set my Quicksilver virtual card to auto lock the very next day. I can create as many virtual cards as I want for any one-off purchases like that. And for me, that's a game changer. One of my favorite cards that actively work in the background is my Amazon store card. It earns an unlimited 5% back on all Amazon purchases. It can even earn up to 20% back on certain items during promotional periods like Prime Day and Cyber Monday. Believe it or not, this has been my top earning card in years past. It really is a no brainer for anyone ordering items from Amazon, which is hundreds of millions of people at this point. Additionally, Amazon lets you set up automatic redemption so that when your cash back is available, it's automatically applied to your next Amazon purchase. So I heavily focus on automation because it allows your credit card benefits to become passive in work in the background while you're sleeping, giving you the peace of mind knowing all your rewards are always being put to good use. If that's a big priority for you as well, then you should know SoFi accounts are automated in a few important ways. So check out this video next. Thank you for watching and you have a good one.